Hello, a bit of a different video today. Uh, no guitar, no singing. Just a bit of sad news, I'm sorry. I've been gigging for about eight years now, and if you've been at the end of every gig, end of every busk performance, um, I always ask everyone to find me on social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, wherever's popular at the time, whatever platforms people have. And um, mainly because I thought it was the best way for us to keep in touch. Um, the best way to get to know each other a little bit, um, the best way to let you know when I'm in the area and when I have some new songs out. Um, and I've really enjoyed social media. I know it gets a lot of bad press, um, but I really, really like it. I've made some really good friends through music. Um, I probably owe a lot of my successes um, in my career to social media and having such a massive outlet for promotion. And I think my favourite part of touring is kind of getting to know a name online um, then eventually meeting them in person and going, oh, you're at so-and-so, so-and-so. And, -so. and um, that's been really incredible. And uh, yeah, you can reach people all over the world. And I've really enjoyed it. So I've really got no gripe with social media. Um, but it has kind of changed over the years. Um, we used to reach lots of people with each post. Um, as time has gone on, I've built up quite a large following. But it feels like the posts reach less people. Um, I think that was a little bit of a strategy by Facebook um, just to get you to pay a little bit for advertising. And to be fair, I wasn't mad at that stage. Um, I just kind of, I felt, yeah, I really appreciate the, the platform and the, the opportunity it provides. Um, so I did just that. And yeah, I've been happy to pay for the services and create adverts. And it's amazing how you can target people who like music similar to yours and create new fans. And it's been amazing how I can like target existing fans living in an area where I've got a gig coming up. And I think it's been really, really valuable. Um, and I've really, really enjoyed it. Like I said, I've got no gripe with social media. Um, but there was an announcement this week on Facebook um, that has made me a bit angry. Um, feels like a bit of a kick in the teeth. Um, the announcement this week was a little bit vague, um, but they've said that from now on, from October 1st, we will not be able to use videos to create a, a music listening experience. And there seems to be an indication that they'll be clamping down on live streams in particular, which after driving people to the platforms um, as a form of keeping in touch for so long, does feel like a bit of a kick in the teeth. And you know that you can set up a musician page on Facebook and I guess if you, if they had a long-term intent of not being able to release music on Facebook, then that seems a little bit misleading. Um, so that was, uh, yeah, it was a little bit peed off to see the, to see the announcement. Um, and I just think it's a little bit uns unsympathetic with the timing as well. Like at the moment, um, with the lockdown and the virus, um, pretty much online is the only audience we can perform to over 30 people. So it's probably more valuable now than ever. And I think all the musicians at the beginning of lockdown, they felt an obligation to keep everyone entertained and keep everyone's spirits up. And we all flocked to live streams and, and did what we can. And yeah, this really feels like a, a kick, us, kick us when we down moment. So. I just want to make this video to keep people aware um, of that development and maybe find a solution, how we can keep in touch. Um, so if you want to keep up to date with my new music and where I'm going to be performing and just all things John Adams, um, you can head over to my website, um, which is johnadamsmusic.co.uk and there's a subscribe button there. And when you click that, you put in your name and your email address and you just subscribe to a newsletter whenever I feel fit, um, which, it's pretty much once a month, like it's not really spammy or anything like that. Maybe they get a little bit more frequent if I've got a track coming out in the next couple of weeks. Um, but I keep them short and sweet. And um, if you enjoy my music and it's something you've looked forward to in your newsfeed, I hope it has been a, a positive experience and you're not thinking, oh, thank God he won't be able to ram my music, his music down my throat anymore. Um, then hopefully you can do that. Um, I've always kind of tried to put out my content for free. I've never kind of added a PayPal link or or charged anyone to listen. I've put the music out. Um, just hoping people enjoy it really. So if you have and you'd like to say a little thank you, then maybe you can head over to my website and subscribe so we can continue our our friendship and yeah, and, and keep seeing you at gigs and and all that kind of stuff. But also, if you wanted to help one step further, um, another thing that Facebook does is if you put a link in the description of your post, um, they don't show many people because they don't want people to click the link and leave the platform. So if you could try and help me spread this post organically, um, that would be great. I think the best way to do that 
uh, would either be to share it directly um, or maybe tag a friend um, that also likes my music in the comments below. So yeah, that's the update. Music might be coming to a halt on Facebook and if you'd like to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, head over to johnadamsmusic.co.uk and click subscribe. Hope you're well and hopefully this is in vain and it doesn't change anything. Take care, see you soon. Bye.